inside your instance of inspect point you now have the ability to group and filter inspections based on types now these types are set by you and like i mentioned it's a way for you to group and filter your inspections in a way that makes sense for your business and organization so to get these filters or to get these types set up you'll go to the settings drop down in the upper right hand corner and you're going to click on inspection settings from there you're going to click inspection types now in here i have four types set up these are types that i i have added um, so when you first click onto this, it will be blank. Um, you'll just go to the new inspection types, add the type, and repeat that process until you have the types added that you would like to see. Now, like I just said, these are a way for you to group and filter. So there's no right or wrong way to create types. It is best and it's what you would like to see inside your organization. Once you have your types set up, you're going to want to think about getting these added to your inspections. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can go to your buildings, you know, open up your buildings, go to your inspections tabs and start associating these with all pending inspections, right? Adding the type and then adding it to all future inspections in that series. You could go about adding these as you're creating your inspections for that month. Right, so maybe you're going into your inspections tab here, you're filter filtering on your pending inspections, you're going about scheduling. Um, I have a date for this inspection here. So let's just say I click onto the ID number, I'm clicking, I'm editing my inspection to you know be the date that the inspection is supposed to be. While I'm verifying all of the information and setting the inspection date, I'm going in here and I'm associating the type. Then when I click update, I'm going to update this inspection only just because I only I don't want to change all of my inspections to that date. So that's one way, one thing to keep in mind. You'd, if you're updating the inspection date and the type at the same time, you'll only want to do the update only. Um, and then you're going to want to you know update any pending inspections to include that. So there's a couple of ways that you can go about getting this this type associated with existing inspections um, that you've already created via a series. Now, if you're creating brand new inspection series, it's going to be part of your setup process. So as you're creating it, you can associate your type and that type will be created. Um, it's important that you start associating types and inspections so that you can start utilizing the filter and group options. Once you have the types associated with your inspections, you can come to this inspections tab and you'll start to see a type drop down. Right now, like I said, until you have any types set up, this is going to be blank. So you're gonna click on it and you might be like, hmm, what is this? <laughs> um, that's where you're gonna go into that settings area if you don't have those already set up. Add the types and then once they're added, the nice thing about that is you can come in here and it'll help with scheduling. So you can say, show me all my sprinkler inspections that are in pending. Um, and because I only have, you know, this one or two technicians are my sprinkler guys, and um, they're going to do those inspections. Or maybe I've got my fire alarm gal and I've got to get her, you know, her inspections or whatever it might be. Um, it's going to help a lot filtering your inspections because you can do it by type, especially if you schedule based on types of inspections. Um, it'll also help you look at completed inspections. So if you wanted to pull a re full report of all of your completed fire alarm inspections for the last quarter, you could you know, come into your complete, look on your fire alarm, and you can export that out into a CSV. Um, if you're utilizing tags, you could say, hey, show me all my sprinkler inspections that were completed that are associated with the ABC management tag because I'm, you know, an outsourced for an outsource for those for that company. So I want to know all those inspections. So you can you can still gather all of your reports, but it gives you an extra layer. Now to take this one step further. There's now in the analytics tab down here, an inspections dashboard. 
Now, the types come into play because on this inspection dashboard, I'm able to see at an overview, right, all my completed inspections, my completed inspections by status, my inspections, you know, how much have I generated revenue wise? Well, breaking that down a little bit further, I can see inspections completed by tech, but then I can see revenue by technician per type. So I'm able to see overviews on here, but by utilizing type and having type associated with the inspection, I'm able to see a little bit more specific. So if I would like to see what is my revenue in the door for sprinklers in the last six months, I could filter by type sprinkler, give my range, I'll see number of inspections, I'll see revenue in the door. I can then come down and see revenue per technician on those. Now, to get revenue though, you'll have to add the inspection price at the inspection level. Um, so once you have the inspection price set at the inspection and you have that inspection set with the type, you're gonna be able to start seeing a lot more of this information, a, a more of a breakdown, what's your revenue look like, um, and really be able to start targeting filtering, grouping, seeing what's high performing, what's not high performing, et cetera. So this is just a quick overview of types. Um, setting up the types in that drop down area allows you to be able to do a lot more filtering, both at the inspections tab, but most importantly here, this analytics tab over on this left hand side to be able to start to see revenue breakdowns, um, technician performance breakdowns, et cetera. If you have any questions about this while setting up or reviewing any of the analytic report or questions about getting inspection pricing set up, um, email us at support at inspectpoint.com and we'd be happy to help.